Accessing damaged chainsaws, clearing fallen trees, Shelby Blades and her neighbors still without power. By the looks of some of these houses, I mean, bless them, I hope everybody's okay. As a gay college student lay hospitalized in a critical condition after a severe beating, this small city, which bills itself as Wyoming's hometown, wrestled with its attitudes towards gay men. Breaking tonight, another mass shooting, this time in Florida. Orlando TV journalists who went to cover the initial deadly shooting ended up being targeted themselves. One TV journalist shot and killed, another in critical condition. On Friday, they cursed the rains, and by Sunday, the people of Box Springs thank God that their homes were still there. Oftentimes, it takes tragedy to bring out the best in people. According to Box Springs homeowner Michael Boatman, the people of Dinah Street feel that if the city won't help them, they can help each other. The water receded from Dinah Street about six hours after it peaked, but the battle against the elements goes on. Homeowner Roger Daniels. I work today, so now I'm having to do it by, my, you know, by myself at night, and uh, it's going to take a little while. Although they have each other, they know that outside help would cushion the blow. They're in need of cleaning supplies and wet vacs. Any little bit would help these people get their life back to normal. Chris Fox, KRLD News.